just when you thought it was safe to bypass logging into a Microsoft account during setup, along comes Big Brother saying, guess again. Welcome back everyone, Grumpy Sysadmin here. If you saw my last video about Windows 11 25H2, you already know Microsoft's been tightening the screws. And today we're going to talk about their latest trick, killing the Microsoft account bypass, and how you can still get around it, for now. I've made videos before showing you how to skip the forced Microsoft account nonsense. You know those neat little commands like bypass NRO. And even though those still technically work in the latest 25H2 release, let's be honest, not for long. Developers at Microsoft are already removing them and other workarounds to make sure you don't get to choose. Aww. Well, at least not if you're running Windows Home Edition, which, let's face it, most people are. But don't panic, I've got a method that still works and it's bulletproof. So if Microsoft thinks they've closed every door, they forgot to check the back window. Why is Microsoft doing this? You see, Microsoft claims they're removing these bypass options because they, quote, skip critical setup screens, end quote. According to their developers, these screens are essential for proper configuration. All right, sure, but let's take a look at what's actually so critical, shall we? I ran a side-by-side -side install, one using a Microsoft account, the other using a local bypass method. And here's what I found. Both let you pick region, keyboard layout, and rename your device all normal. But when you sign in with a Microsoft account, you suddenly get a parade of critical quote unquote screens, and boy are they something. Restore your PC from backup, tied directly to your Microsoft account. Customize your experience, developer, gamer entertainment, also known as data harvesting. Connect your phone, because apparently your PC isn't enough for them to track. Back up your photos. Right, enjoy your generous five gigabytes of cloud space. Sign into Microsoft Edge so they can sync your bookmarks and your browsing habits. Try Microsoft 365 because who doesn't love another subscription? Get more cloud storage because more upsells. Use Outlook for free, yet another hook into their ecosystem. And that's what they call critical steps. What we're seeing isn't, quote, setup. It's an onboarding funnel designed to pull you deeper into Microsoft's world of subscriptions, upsells, and tracking. Look, I get it. Windows 10 was free, and Microsoft's got to make money somehow. But this? This feels less like a setup and more like a sales pitch disguised as configuration. And that's why they want you logged in with a Microsoft account. Not because it's safer or easier, but because it keeps you in their ecosystem. But don't worry, we're not done fighting back. Let's get to the method that still works, even after 25H2. The Bulletproof Method. Start your Windows install like normal. Go through the initial setup screens until you hit the Sign In screen. Now before you go any further, if this video helps you out, hit that Subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it tells Microsoft I'm not backing down. Oh, and smash that like button too. It helps more people find this video before Microsoft nukes this method next. All right, now back to the good stuff. At the login prompt, press and hold Shift F10 to open an elevated command prompt. Next, type the following commands exactly as I show them. After you press enter for each command, you should see the command completed successfully. Step one, type net space user space quote, the username you want, close quote, space, asterisk, space, a forward slash, add. Make sure to replace username you want with whatever you want for your local account name to be. Make sure you keep the quotes. Step two, type net space local group space administrators space, quote, the username you want, close quote, space, forward slash add, and press enter. This adds your new account to the local administrators group. This is absolutely critical, or you'll be stuck as a limited user. Step three, type net space user, space, quote, username you want, close quote, space, 
forward slash active colon yes and press enter. This makes sure that the account you created is actually enabled. Step four, type net space user space quote, the username you want, close quote, space forward slash expires colon never. This makes sure that the password you set doesn't expire. Step five, type net space user space quote, administrator close quote, space forward slash active colon no and press enter. This disables the built-in administrator account. It's not needed and is a vulnerability if left enabled. Normally Windows disables it by default, but since we're creating an account this way, we need to do it ourselves. Step six, type net space user quote, default user zero close quote, make sure to pay attention to the case and make sure the U is capitalized, space forward slash delete. This deletes the temporary setup account that's also no longer needed. To verify that you've done all these correctly, next type net space user and press enter. You should see the account you created and the default guest account in the list. We're not done yet though. There's one more tweak and it's in the registry. In the command prompt, type regedit and press enter. When the registry opens on the left hand side, open up HKey Local Machine, then Software, then Microsoft, scroll down to Windows, then Current Version, and finally scroll down and click on OOBE. In the right hand panel, delete these three values, default account action, default account SAM name, and default account SID. You can delete them one at a time or all at once. Doesn't matter as long as they're gone. Next, you see that value named launch user OOBE? You want to right click on it and select rename. Rename it to Skip Machine OOBE. Make sure to match the case exactly as I've shown it here. Once that's done, verify the value is set to 1 or change it to 1 if it's not already. Go ahead and close the registry editor. This should bring you back to the command prompt. Next, type the following and press Enter to reboot the machine. Shut down space forward slash R space forward slash T space 0 and press enter. Now here's the part that'll make you grin. When the machine comes back up, you'll see the login screen. If you set a password, enter it. If not, it'll log you straight in. You'll see the normal setting up your PC animation and then bam, you're at the desktop. No Microsoft account, no NAG screens, no upsells, just clean local access. And that's it. You're logged into the machine with a purely local account. Clean, simple, and fully functional. No Microsoft 365 trials, no cloud storage pitches, no edge sign-ins, nothing. Just you, your PC, and peace. Now before you celebrate too much, this doesn't disable Microsoft's built-in telemetry. If you want to shut that down, check out my videos on O&O Shut Up 10 and Winhance. Both excellent tools to keep Windows from phoning home. So there you have it. Microsoft trying to close the door on local accounts. But for now, we've kicked it right back open. Until next time, keep your data backed up, your machine patched, and as always, stay grumpy.